Hello, here is a specimen of the gallbladder and we can see that this is the fundus and this is the region of the neck of the gallbladder. We are not able to really appreciate the cystic duct well here and the main abnormality is that the gallbladder wall is thickened. The gallbladder itself is not significantly enlarged and you can see that the wall ranges from about 3 to 4 millimeters here, which is fairly normal. Uh, the normal upper limit of the wall thickness is about 3 millimeters to 7 to 8 millimeters thick. And if we look at the cross section of the wall, we can see that it's got a rather whitish appearance, and this is due to fibrosis. So, in the presence of a somewhat shrunken gallbladder, with a thickened wall where we can appreciate the presence of fibrosis. These are the characteristic gross features of chronic cholecystitis. This is in contrast to acute cholecystitis where the gallbladder is usually enlarged and the wall is thickened, but the reason for the thickening is because of edema, congestion and hemorrhage. So you generally won't get this uh, rather whitish appearance unless, of course, it is acute on chronic cholecystitis. When we turn this gallbladder around, we can actually see if we examine the serosal surface carefully. For example, in this area, we can see these whitish, almost thick membranous areas. And these are adhesions to show you that the surgeon had to dissect these off the other structures in the abdominal cavity. So sometimes there can be adhesions in chronic cholecystitis as well. So moving back round, let's have a look at the mucosal surface. It looks relatively roughened. Um, there is no definite obvious ulceration. And in fact, if we look carefully in this area, we almost can see a few little openings in the wall of the gallbladder. These are likely to represent rokitansky eschkoff sinuses. These represent little invaginations of the mucosa into the wall of the gallbladder and are very frequently seen in chronic cholecystitis. Here is a histologic example of a case of chronic cholecystitis and you can see that this is the gallbladder mucosa, this is the muscular wall and there is increased fibrosis in the muscular wall. These paler areas among the pinker bundles of smooth muscle indicate areas of fibrosis and you can also see a little invagination of the mucosa going into the wall of the gallbladder and this is an example of what a rokitansky eschkoff sinus looks like microscopically. It is a little bit like a diverticulum or a herniation of the surface epithelium into the wall of the gallbladder. So coming back to the gross appearance, these probably represent rokitansky eschkoff sinuses. Chronic cholecystitis often occurs in the presence of stones or cholelithiasis. There need not necessarily be an obstructive component, but it is possible that the supersaturation of bile uh, within the gallbladder, which causes or which results in stone formation, also results in chronic irritation and inflammation of the gallbladder mucosa. So in summary, this is a case of chronic cholecystitis where we can see that the gallbladder wall is thickened and it appears to be whitish on cut surface, unlike the darker, more congested and edematous appearance of acute cholecystitis. And in this instance, we can also see some adhesions on the serosal surface.